Hi, welcome to Russ Common Acres, a very nail in nowhere. Dana's been telling you about our aquaponic systems we've been constructing over the last oh, month now. And we finally got our first, we call her the power baby, up and running, because I think we've got a pump that's a little too powerful. But this is where we cut the box out, put the pallet on top, cut the IVC, cleaned it all up, flipped it over, put a threaded coupling through the hole, put the media in, and this is the tubing that they showed us at uh, ibcacroponics.com, was it? This is huge in Australia. So I guess an Australian had to try this in Nebraska. This is, uh, runs into the T. I got holes in the bottom to evenly distribute the water around. This is my protector to stop the median from falling into the center. Inside I have a height gauge and after. And that, when the water hits that level, it should be within two inches of the media. And I would have flushed a little bit of water opening it up like that, but you can start to see it filling up already here. Find the water level. It should be about two inches below the media. We're using red lava on this one. Uh, we were going to do red lava on the bottom and some clay on the top, but our local supply store didn't carry the clay. But the red lava, I guess, is used in Hawaii a lot. Uh, it's got lots of air pockets for good bacteria to grow in, I'm told. Um, not that we know anything, but we're having to go at it. And uh, hopefully pretty soon we'll be growing tomatoes and herbs and lettuce. And uh, in the front there, we'll have uh, some goldfish this week once they start to survive. We're going to look at getting uh, catfish when they become available in the stores. And like any project, we're still going to have to put in some uh, full spectrum, spec spectrum lighting. Um, we're going to have to put a screen door on our garage door to open it up in winter for the humidity. Uh, we don't have a greenhouse. These you can put outside, but the sun deteriorates these uh, IVCs after two, three years, I've been told. So we've decided to do it in the garage. Um, hopefully, down the road, maybe we can heat the garage and keep the fish going over winter. So that's one of the reasons why we've done it here. Obviously, there's disadvantages because humidity on the walls, but we're going to try to control that. So we're just really excited to hopefully... Uh, Get the system up and going. Right now we've got a continuous. We're going to put a timer on it down the road and do the flood drain, which will probably be more appropriate for our um, usage. But uh, unless you get out there and have a go at it for yourself, you never know what's going to work for you. There's lots of information out there. Um, you can find it for free. So I wouldn't go spend a whole bunch of money looking for info. You can come to RossCommonAcres.com. We can send you to the websites we've used. they got a wonderful 180-page uh, free PDF on this website we've used. Um, it tells you how to do this style. I think it also tells you how to do uh, the water barrels. My wife's done all the reading. She runs the blog. I'm just telling you about it. So we got four more here to go. And I got one for a friend we've kind of worked on together. Uh, hopefully we'll keep you up to date as we uh, move down the road. I think she's pretty bonza.